Inventory vouchers in Tally Prime, record the receipt and issue of goods or stock. Movement of goods, the transfer of stock between locations, and physical stock adjustments. In this tutorial, we will show you how to record transactions using the most commonly used inventory vouchers. Inventory vouchers in Tally Prime are Delivery Note, Receipt Note, Rejection In, Rejection Out, Stock Journal, Physical Stock, Material In, Material Out. Now, let us activate few voucher types that we will be using for this tutorial. One of the methods to activate voucher type is to open vouchers from Gateway of Tally. Once you open the vouchers, press F10 to select other vouchers. Here we can see accounting vouchers and inventory vouchers. In the inventory vouchers, there are only two vouchers by default, and the rest are inactive. To activate the inactivate vouchers, select, show inactive option. We can see all inactive voucher types. Now, let us activate the voucher types that we are going to use in this video. Select delivery note and press enter. Select yes to activate the voucher. The same way, let us enable receipt note. Now let us post the transaction. Delivery note. Delivery note is used to record transactions of materials delivered to customers, agents, third party, etc. The shortcut key for activating delivery note is Alt plus F8. and select the item. Another pop-up window will appear, where we can input the item location from where the item is delivered, quantity of the item, and rate. Receipt note. When we receive materials from supplier, agents, third party, etc., we use receipt note to record the transaction. The shortcut key to activate receipt note is Alt plus F9. Just like how we posted delivery note, instead of the customer name, here we input the supplier name and their details. In the ledger column, select the purchase ledger and enter the details of the item that you receive. The next voucher type is Stock Journal. Stock Journal is a journal in which all types of stock adjustments are entered. This is useful to transfer the goods from one location to another. The quantity of stock remains the same, but the location changes. The shortcut key is Alt plus F7. The main reasons for stock adjustments are Interlocation transfer. When we need to transfer the stock item from one location to another, this adjustment method is used. The quantity of stock item remains the same in this case. The only change will be the location of the item. Shortage or wastage of stock. Sometimes there may be wastage or shortage of items due to various reasons. In such cases, we need to enter stock journal to adjust the stock item. Manufacturing process. If the company is a manufacturing company where raw materials are consumed to create finished goods, stock journal can be converted to a manufacturing journal. Now let us check the default stock journal. Here we can see in the left side, source or consumption, and in the right, destination or production columns. Source is used to reduce the number of items. Example, taking items from a particular location. Destination is used to increase the number of items. Example, placing items to a particular location. For example, let us create an item and name it as raw material. Select the unit and group and give opening balance as 10 and put it in head office.
Now, in the source column, select raw materials, select head office and quantity as 3. Save the transaction. Now if we check the item quantity, we can see that there are only 7 raw material. This is used when we need to reduce the items in case of shortage or consumption of that particular item. Now come to the destination column. Select raw material and input the quantity as 5 and save the transaction. Now once again if we check the quantity of raw material, we can see that it has increased. This is used when there is surplus item or if a new item is produced. A physical stock voucher is used to record the actual stock of a particular stock item. For example, let us assume that after taking the physical stock, we found that item 3 has 10 quantity in the store. But in the books, it is showing 0. In order to bring the correct stock, we use physical stock entry. So here in the item column, select item 3, select the location as store, and input quantity as 10, and save the transaction. Once again if we check the stock item 3, we can see that it has changed to 10. We will be covering the other inventory vouchers in another upcoming video. If you find the video helpful, please let us know by pressing the like button or drop a comment. For more tutorial videos, subscribe to our channel. Thank you and see you in the next video.